Have you ever fallen in love with a project? And the more you put your heart into it, the more you feel connected with your purpose. Then you, my friend, are in the right place. Hi, I'm Raymond, and this is Season 5 of Running With Raymond. My lifelong vlog series about learning, loving, creating, feeling, and growing through life. It's a show about making your own opportunities and having the courage to share your story with the world. Life can be uncertain, but I'm glad to know that you'll be right here with me no matter where I go. Wow. That's so nice. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. So today we are here with Koreatown Run Club. This, everybody, is Dewey. What's up? Koreatown Run Club. It's been a long time coming and I've been waiting to run with these guys. I've been checking them out on Instagram for a while. So, yeah. uh, what, do, what do we have in store for today, Dewey? Today we're going to do about three miles. Uh, I surprised, last week I surprised them with four, so we're going to take it a little easy now. See how they do. Here we go. We're going to take four. Back east to Normandy, south, circle back, meet up here. One in the lot. <laughs> and we finished our run, guys. How do you feel? Oh, I feel good. I feel tired. I feel like my lungs are sore. Yeah. Mine too. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good job, man. There you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> this is Caesar. Hey, guys. He's actually from New York, but he moved here about a year ago. How was your experience living in K Town, running with K Town Road Club, and Los Angeles in general? Well, uh, a lot of New Yorkers told me that people in LA are fake, and it's been the complete opposite. KRC has been a loving family at this point, and um, LA has been very welcoming. So I don't know. I'm, I'm loving LA. I'm loving K Town. Loving the industry and the people out here. So yeah, it's been great. If you guys are ever here in LA, if you guys are here on a Saturday in K Town at 10:30 a.m. You gotta come to line, the hotel, line hotel, go to the lobby, stretch out with these folks, and and go for a run, man. It, it'll feel great, and you're gonna meet a lot of new friends. All ages, all body types mm -hmm. are welcome. We've we've ran with babies and dogs. Different levels of <laughs> runners. You know, you you could be the slowest runner. You could be, you know, it doesn't matter. Just come out and run with us. Yeah. This is Dewey. This is the man. All right. Can you tell us more about Koreatown Run Club? Why did you decide to create a run? club here in yeah. Koreatown and you know how's it been ever since and I just want to get to know you guys yeah yeah so me and my friend Mike uh, who lives in Koreatown started at K-Town we, we started as both non-runners you know we, we never really ran uh, I came back from Haiti shooting a project where uh, 20 crazy people ran across the country and it was dope so I came out here just seeing like how tight they were with each other. I went to Mike, I was like, yo, let's start a run club. And so we, we started it. People came out the first the first day to support. And then it kind of died down the next day. People would think it was just like a one-time event thing, you know? Mm -hmm. But we kept doing it. And uh, people kept coming out, people kept coming out. And now uh, we're out here running every week, every Mondays and every Saturdays. Future plans, I mean, just staying consistent, really. You know, we, uh, we're not the biggest club, but I feel like we've got the most heart and not that the other clubs don't, but a lot of our runners, are they come and they, they're not runners, you know, so we, we turn a lot of runners, not runners, into runners, which is uh, something I'm proud about, being a non-runner myself, and uh, I think just being able to do that, the more we can do that, just get people into running mm -hmm. and seeing all the other different run groups in LA, that'll be good, that'll be good. And what's some of your favorite moments? throughout the year with uh, KRC. I mean, we're just working, just working with everybody, like meeting up with the different run clubs and uh, working with different brands is always fun. But also just the stories that people tell, you know, me and Mike, we just started for fun, you know? And then people like Caesar uh, told me, like he came out here 
didn't really know anybody. I was 200 pounds. 200 oh, pounds. Wow. 250 actually. And now he's a male model. It's crazy how shit works. That. So we met up afterwards uh, at Beer Belly. We're here to eat after the run. I just went to go get my wallet real quick to meet up with everyone. They should be in the back over there. There they are. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I just ran, bro. You know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna get the buttermilk fried chicken with a duck fat fries. I feel a heart attack coming, but that's cool. We just ran, you know what I'm saying? Punch it out real quick. <laughs> Damn, everybody said uh, eating got the fries though. Snow, 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 like the music I'm trying to other little kids are squatting and taking deuces right on the street corner. Where do you I was doing that. Yeah, in certain places. I'm not trying to see your kids either. They have just little open just holes. So you just pick you them all. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Hope to see you again on your next trip. Until next time. Bye. Oh, I am so full. And I feel a lot unhealthier than we did before the run, to be honest. Duck fat fries and fried chicken. Golly. See ya. Let's see. Stand right here. Actually, stand right here. Alright, let's Oh, what's going on guys? So today I am here with my friends Rudy and Nam and we're doing a little shoot. Put the mini tripod on and I'm now gonna give this thing to Rudy. What's up? What's going on? Uh, just wrapped up a shoot, and uh, and now we're doing another one. <laughs> <laughs> How do I stop this? Oh, you can press the button on the right side. The red button. Uh, we just finished the shoot at Line. Um, two really great models, Rudy and Nam. Hey. It was like, uh, it felt like GQ in there for a little bit. So now we're about to go get some boba. But I did have a question to ask these two because they're both creatives. But they're both creatives in, in different respective forms. Nam designs, creates, and produces Oman and Rudy. He writes and he does photography. And so as creatives that's been living in LA, how? has your experience been so far? Because both of your experiences have been different. Nam has been here for, Nam has been here for eight years, but Rudy has been here for two years. But together they've been here for a decade. Hey, hey that's dope. But they also share something in common besides being creatives, they're also both, just like me, from the Bay Area, up north. So there's this similar uh, mindset from where we all started from, but now it's all different experiences that's been like gathered since then. How do you guys feel? Um, what have you guys learned and what are some things that you've learned along the way or you, that you could like tell people about? Honestly, I feel like I did learn a lot, but what, when it really came down to things, like moving forward was all about putting yourself out there and meeting the right people. You know, if you really meet the right people, they can just do more right people, and from there it's like this endless cycle. But you really got to keep your like work at the top, so that when you do meet these people, they're they respect your work. You know that kind of thing. That was exactly <laughs> it. I can't even top that. Like he said exactly what needed to be said. That was that was on, dude. Yes, it was. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna get some boba because it's boba time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, bye. Oh, 
Where do you get your haircut, Rudy? I get it at Hair News, just around the corner, in that plaza that we were just at. <laughs> <laughs> young Prince of the K-Town. Hey, hey, young, young Prince. Though so now we are here in Paris Baguette, getting some pastries. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Rudy. See ya. Bye. Later, bro. It's been fucking real, dog. Yes, Have it fun has. back home, dog. Thank you, man. Good seeing you. Bye. Later. Thanks for dropping me off. And now I am here, still in Cape Town, and in front of the Gaylord Apartments. Dun, dun, dun. Could buy a really cool room. Check out the contact below if you'd like to sponsor me. My email is right down there. I like staying at things like this, like the Line Hotel. And if you're a hotel, you know, I'm a creative. I'll do some stuff for you guys for a bed and some nice decor. Bye, LA. I'm gonna miss you. See you later.